My name is Lee Winowicki. I'm a soil scientist. I also lead the soil and land health research team. And I'm super pleased to welcome everyone to the restoration plenary. So how are we feeling this morning? Oh my God. Okay, let's try this again. How's everyone feeling this morning? <laughs> because I'm feeling supercharged. Yesterday we had amazing scene setting, global perspective, and today and the following days is all about showcasing C4 eCraft's leadership and niche in the various arenas. And of course, today we're going to talk about landscape restoration. The objectives of our session today, I have no idea where to point this, Evanson. <laughs> It are to understand the breadth of work at C4E Craft. Peter Manong is going to ask us, what's our niche? No, really guys, what's our niche? Well, you know what, we know what it is and we're gonna be showcasing it today. So Peter, that's not your first question. We're gonna be showing what's cutting edge, what aspects we are ahead of the curve. In our soil spectroscopy session this morning, we said we need to be 10 years ahead of everyone else. And I really think that we're, 10 years ahead of everyone else in landscape restoration. We're gonna brainstorm on next frontier and invest. We're gonna outline where we need to invest. So we only have an hour and a half. So this question of where are we is only going to focus on where are we in terms of landscape restoration, not a philosophical discussion here for personal, where are we? Where are we, C4 eCraft? in terms of the crowded, we often say crowded space of landscape restoration. I wanted to remind you as I do every year, we're not starting from scratch. And Kathy, I desperately tried to find a photo of us at COP, um, at the COP in Paris, 2015 in the basement, you know, doing the brainstorming, our very first, um, at that time, eCraft restoration session. Yes, we've had amazing, products coming out of FTA, FTA priority. I also, of course, demonstrate the WLE logo because we actually led the restoration of degraded land flagship. We have this amazing publication stock taking of FTA um, restoration activities, 121 tools, Vincent, <laughs> for monitoring, most of which come from C4E craft. We launched the restoration TPP at the UN Decade of Ecosystem Restoration, June 5th. And here we are today. This is our journey. And of course, it's not linear. There's only a few of us here who are linear. <laughs> Carl, why are you looking at me? <laughs> so we really need to talk about where to invest. By the way, raise your hand. Are you on any UN Decade Task Force? We have representation on every single task force. We have representation on the scientific committee. We also have representation on the principles and standards. We are present. So please fill your mentee and let's see if you agree with me. Because the first question is, are we well-placed? Are we moderately placed? Or are we not visible at all? So please fill your mentee. Why are we here? Landscape restoration is the thing, the theme that cuts across all the five global challenges. And we know what they are because comms is very good at telling us what they are all the time. What is one of our niche? We work globally. And hot off the press guys, Fergus, new options by contacts brochure coming out to local and back. So that question of Rick yesterday and the answer um, by Anthony, there's no way you can just work at global or local. Of course, eCraft, this is what we do. C4 eCraft, global to local back again and building what? The evidence base to inform decisions, to track investment. <laughs> we are currently at a crossroads. Business as usual is not an option. This is a photo I took in West Pocot. We know degradation is serious, so let's get started. <laughs> 